Saturday on how to determine minus. Okay? So, mga kakasagawin nyo, pati sa plus, mag-A mo si Kyo. So, be careful, ha? So, we have 6 minus 3, following KOC. KOC. If the first one will be, it will still be 6. Okay? Hi guys! Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is about division of fractions. But before we move to that, I believe we have to recall some thing about uh, multiplication of fractions. So, let's do it now. In 3, 2, 1. So, what are the steps in multiplying fraction? Based on my previous video about multiplication of fractions, the first step is to multiply them numerator by numerator, and second step is to simplify them. Make sure that it's that your answer is in simplest form always. But I have shown you another video which is very advisable about cross cancellation, and I hope you will be using that method, okay? Because that's the easiest way to multiply fractions. Those two topics are the things we have to recall, and I hope you could still remember all of them. But now, let's start with discussing the division of fractions. Ta -da! So now, mga kamatsters, let's start learning division of fractions. Okay, don't worry. The discussion is easy. It's very easy. So what are the steps in dividing fractions? Okay, don't worry. We see we only have two steps in dividing fractions. Okay? And you just have to remember one step because the other one you already know how to do that. Okay, step 1 is to get the reciprocal of the divisor. Again, the divisor not the dividend. We could actually write a division equation in two ways. First, this way using the division operation and second is by writing it using the division halves take note that in a division equation for this one the divisor is the number after the division operation while this one the divisor is the number outside the division house and the second step is to simply follow multiplication of fractions rule as you as you can see Division of fraction is just one step different from multiplication of fraction because you still have to follow multiplication of fractions in dividing fractions. But, let me ask you first, what is, what do we mean by reciprocal? Okay, when we say reciprocal or other term is multiplicative inverse, it is actually simply interchanging the numerator and the denominator, meaning your when you reciprocal a fraction, the denominator goes to the numerator and the numerator goes to the denominator. So here are some examples on how to do the reciprocal of a fraction. So as you can see, when we get reciprocal of 2 over 3, so we just have to interchange again there the numerator and the denominator. So 2 will go to the denominator and 3 goes to the numerator. So it will be 3 over 2. How about reciprocal of 7 over 4? So, again, interchange them. So, we will just get 4 over 7. How about 8 over 21? So, as simple as 21 over 8. And the last one, reciprocal of 9 would be 9 over. Reciprocal of 9. And the last one, we have 9, reciprocal of 9 over 2, which is equal to 2 over 9. So you can see, again, we just have to interchange the numerator and the denominator to get the reciprocal. How about the reciprocal of whole numbers like 3, 7, 41, and 120, 121? How are we going to get its reciprocal even though it's not a fraction? But that's what, but whole numbers could be, could be written in a form of fraction also. But whole numbers could be, be easily written in a form of fraction also by simply putting a denominator of 1, just like 3 over 1, 7 over 1, 41 over 1, and 
121 over 1. After writing them in fraction form, in fraction form you could easily now get its reciprocal. Now, let's try some. So, reciprocal of 9 would be, first write in in fraction form, 9 over 1, and then reciprocal it. 1 over 9 is our final answer. <coughs> Next, let's have the reciprocal of 11. Write it in fraction form, 11 over 1, then get its reciprocal interchange, so it will be 1 over 11. Next, we have the reciprocal of 31, write in fraction form, 31 over 1, and get its reciprocal interchange now, so we have 1 over 31. Now, let's have some examples on how to do division of fractions. So, let's have 2 thirds divided by 1 half as our first example. So, again, first step is to get the reciprocal of the divisor. Again, the divisor is the number or the fraction after the division operation. So, two, between 2 thirds and 1 half, 1 half is our divisor. So, kunin natin ang reciprocal ng 1 half. So, that would be 2 over 1. So, now, let's multiply them. Now, let's multiply the fractions. Or, you may simplify first before multiply. Again, it's up to you to decide, but I suggest simplify first before multiply. So now, since we cannot simplify anything, let's just multiply. 2 times 2 will give us 4, and 3 times 1 will give us 3. Or, convert it to improper, to mixed fraction, since it's in improper fraction. So that would be 1 and 1 third. Next, how about 5 over 3 divided by 10 over 3? So first, get the reciprocal of the divisor. So our divisor here is... 10 over, since it is the number after the division operation. So get its reciprocal, that would be 3 over 10. So after getting its reciprocal, we may now proceed to multiplying them. But take note, you may before multiplying, you may simplify first if possible. So by looking at it, I could simplify it using the cross cancellation. Okay, so I could pair 5 and 10, so that would be 1 and 2. And 3 and 3 also could be paired and simplified, so that would be 1 and 1. So now, my answer is in simplest form, which is 1 over 2. Because 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. Hello guys! So now, let's wrap things up. In this video, you've learned that division of fraction is just one step different from multiplication of fraction. But that one step is the most important, which is about reciprocal of the divisor. But... I believe most of the students are still confused identifying which is the divisor. Just to emphasize, the divisor is the number after the division operation or the number outside the division house. And reciprocal is just simply interchanging, interchanging the numerator and the denominator. Okay, as simple as that. And after getting the reciprocal to divisor, multiply the fractions. Multiply the fractions. As simple as those two steps. First, reciprocal the divisor. Second, multiply the fractions. Again, don't forget to simplify your answer always. I hope after watching this video, you really learned how to do division of fractions. Please watch out for more videos to come and I hope I still have more time to create videos. That's all for now. Keep safe mga kamatsters. God bless us all. Bye-bye.